craziest cheaters in the world. What is going on, guys? Shot clips here once again, and search out some wild clips of the craziest cheaters I can find. Now, like always, my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, it looks like there is this group of girls, and one of them accidentally sends their boyfriends a video of them cheating on him. And instead of the entire group, I guess, worried or something, or calling her out for it, they're all just laughing, and she doesn't even seem like she cares. I guess God really just did not let this one slide. Check out this clip. My friend accidentally sent a clip of her cheating to her BF. I'm in it! Stop stealing my rent! DJ, you in a video? My friend accidentally sent it. And this next one is absolutely ridiculous as well. Basically, this guy asked this woman if she would ever cheat. And just listen to this horrible answer. He's single or are you taken? I'm taken. Would you cheat? If he found out, no. If he didn't find out, yeah. Why? Because I want to be a free woman. Then why are you in a relationship? Because I love my boyfriend. True, true love. And this next one is absolutely insane. There is this guy. And once again, I guess he's asking these two couples to switch phones. And well, she was a bit hesitant. And the boyfriend really just didn't mind. However, after watching the video, I would count this 100% as cheating the boyfriend did not care but to me guys if i ever saw this i would have been like nope that's it but i guess let me know your opinions and your thoughts all right what's your name Brittany. Brittany, what's your name jason you guys are a couple right yes how long have you guys been dating for for like three years three years that's a long time yeah i have a little loyalty check just to make sure okay. we check her phone and check his phone for 45 seconds sure okay yeah that's fine all right 45 seconds 45 seconds not too long where's your instagram we're, it's right there, it's right there. there. Oh, yeah. Check the DMs right now. 45 seconds. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. You, you can read them. You can read Look any of them. What, what, what is ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend? Ex -boyfriend? <laughs> you have some explaining to do. I really don't. That's your, anything to hide. What is this? That's, that's your ex-boyfriend. And what are they talking about? Oh, man. As you guys see, the boyfriend really just doesn't mind. And this guy's like, yo, that's your ex-boyfriend. Like, why the hell are you still texting him even after three years? And just, just listen to this guy's response. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why he's dealing with this. I guess he just doesn't want to leave her. Oh, well, what's going on in the ex-boyfriend's DMs? How what's going on? That? That's recent. That's at the top. He does text me a lot. Do you know about this? Wednesday. You know about this? I do not. Well, you you have some explaining to do. <laughs> some explaining to do. Oh, this guy. This guy. He won't leave her alone. Okay. <laughs> uh, you have some explaining to do. How you feel about this? How you feel about this? I'm not worried about it. Not worried. Okay, no. Okay. All right, we're good. Then. I don't have anything to hide. Okay. 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 <laughs> so it's just funny, mostly. Okay. Because he won't leave her alone. Okay. But I'm not. I don't want to look through his phone because I trust him. Okay. Okay. Well, did they? Pa I mean, was that a pass or a fail? That pass or fail. That was pass. It looks like someone it definitely hurts. And man, if you ever are in this situation, I'm sorry, but you gotta cut this friendship off. What would he have to do for him to get you as his girl? Oh, that's hard because we're friends. So we've been friends for so long. We wouldn't ruin it like that. No, we're friends. Shit, that's what she said. Wow, man. Uh... And this next one is absolutely horrible. I guess this woman is trying to explain why women are the prize, but that's not the reason why it's horrible. Just check this first part out. Women are the only prize. Men are yes, she too. is. Women are the. We have intrinsic value. We are the prize. Like, what? What? Men go to work for women. Wait, ho what? Yeah, why do you go to work? To I pay to... bills for your woman. No, for myself. Now, that is actually the same woman that's apparently saying this. Now, I'm sorry, but I can't agree with that. Men aren't just, you know, disposable like that. What happens now, yeah? God forbid you if your husband gets sick and it can't work. Then I have to find a new one. I have to find a new one. Go stay! I will stay, but I have to find a new one. I will have to find a new one. I'll have to find a new one. In this next one, once again, we have this two people. I guess they're switching phones. And well, I guess this three year relationship just went down the toilet. Check out this insane clip. How long have you guys been together? Three years. Do you guys trust each other? Yeah. You think it's actual love? Yeah. No? Okay. Would you swap phone? Yeah? Yeah. Go on then. Mine's dead. Whose phone is this? It's my phone. What's the message? Hey babe, we already know each other. Are okay. you talking to other girls? Can I go please? I'm done with him now, I've seen that. Walk off. We're not together anymore. We've well, been together for three years. Walk off. I don't care. No, no, fuck you. In this next one, I guess this guy was flirting with these women without him knowing that his wife is right behind him. And boy, the ending definitely made me laugh. No, lo que sea, díganlo ustedes lo que quieran, eh? Ay, 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 ay. 
cuando te vayas. Mira que me voy. And this next one is definitely tough to hear. And I'm not even gonna lie, kind of emotional. Basically, there's this guy, I guess he's explaining to this other guy how he found out that his girlfriend was cheating on him. However, she doesn't even know that he knows yet. And I guess he just goes in detail about how he caught her. And man, you kind of just put yourself in that situation. I feel so bad for him. Especially since they've been dating for like three to four years. Keep watching till the end. You could see why it's so hard to hear. Man, how can I help you? Um, first off, first off, I don't know how to tell my current girlfriend that I, I know she cheated on me. Damn, hold on. How do you know she cheated on you? Um, basically, school was like, school ended for me in May. Like, my junior year ended. I just started senior year. Okay. And so, me and her have been together since eighth grade. So that's like three or four years. Like, strong. Like, I can see when, like, she gets this and all. I can see when she, like, something's up with her. Like, I just know. Like, it's been so long with her. Like, I had to see those things. And the, like the day school ended, the exact day we got out of school, the half day, I remember I didn't get a text from her from the beginning of that day to I think 3 a.m. that night. I thought it was weird, but at the time she was going through shit that I thought she was going through shit. So I was like, all right, it's, like, it's, it's cool, it's nothing. And so I say like two weeks ago, I get invited to this group chat, this Instagram group chat. And in it, I see this video. And that's the only thing put in the group chat is a video. I click on the video. And it's, it's my bitch getting fucked. And I, I see what she's wearing and it's the exact shit she wore at school that last day. And this next one is absolutely insane. And this guy's reaction was pretty hilarious. I guess this, what, I guess his girlfriend decided to spy on her boyfriend and he was on a date with another woman. Now pay attention to his face and his reaction. Like I said, I was actually dying. Uh, and I love how the girlfriend was really, really composed. Alright, let's see. Let's find out. You alright? How's it going? Right. Having a nice time? Yeah, yeah. Right. This looks cozy, doesn't it? Well, I was just going for a walk, wasn't I? What, we, what are you doing here? That's that's the important question. I'm just, uh, just having some sweet for lunch. Oh, yeah. Well, it was for lunch, really. Because I can. Yeah, but you can't film my film while you film with me. Because I... This isn't anything really to do with me. This is a treat you to while you film with me. Well, it's fine. Really? And this next one, I'm not sure why the music is so loud, but this, I guess this woman catches her husband cheating on her on a date with another woman. I don't know why the music is loud, like I said, it's just absolutely annoying, but you can still hear what they're saying. Husband gets caught having dinner with another woman. And this is actually what I don't agree with this guy is doing. Basically, I guess he goes on dates with these women, and when it's time to pay, he pulls out Uno cards. I don't know why men just can't pay for women they take out. I know my mother did not raise me like that. Just just watch the video and you'll see why, why he pulls it out. You saved all your money while playing. I'm so cheap. That's probably one of the reasons why I can't keep a woman either. I saw that at the end of dinner, when you go to pay the bill, mm -hmm. you whip out a deck of Uno cards. To pay, yeah. And you make them play Uno to decide who pays, pays the, bill. the bill. Yeah, exactly. If I went to dinner with you and I lost it, Uno, I would have to pay. Yeah, you would have to pay the bill. It's 50 50. You okay. guys always fight for equal rights, right? And this next one, this guy, I guess, questioned what he would do if his girlfriend had some kind of OnlyFans. And while this was his answer, I can't say I disagree with him. Would you date a girl with a fan site? Would I date her? I don't know about date her, but uh, we could be friends. We could work it out or something like <laughs> to that. Have some fun. Yeah, <laughs> like we could work it out, but I don't know about date. You feel no, me? you like, couldn't take her serious. I don't think she can take me serious, you feel me? She she preoccupied by all that, you feel me? Like, yeah. And this next one we have this guy looking at all his friends. I don't know, man, it looks like this guy's real living life and enjoying himself. Who needs a woman? <laughs> Oh, 
In this next one, I think it's great advice to show you guys and girls, to be honest, why the silent treatment always works after a breakup. There's this one man I dated who I will respect for the rest of my life because after we broke up, he never ever reached out again. This is like over two years ago. I have no idea where he is or what he's doing, and I love him. Well, that does it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.